now paper number 380 now this paper number 380 question number 66 to 70 now this comes under which category 66 to 70 row arrangement now this seating arrangement along with the blood relation is given a and his other family members other family members means how many members are there in total six members a and his other family members namely b c d e and f that means there are six persons now these six persons are seated in a cycle and facing towards north then a sits thought to the right of his uncle as a is seated thought to the right of his uncle then if uncle is here then one two three a sits thought to the right of his uncle then this is one possible team and a does not sit at any one of the extreme ends of the row and how many possibilities we have only two possibilities either uncle is at the left end or second from the left end then a will be here a sits thought to the left right of his uncle a does not sit at any one of the extreme ends of the line now h son sits to the immediate left of a now h son is to the immediate left hand side of a now this is a son here also a son is to the immediate left of a only two people sit between a son and e between son and e there must be exactly two people here also between son and e there must be exactly two people and next one only one person between a and b now in between a and b how many persons are there there is only one person hence b is here now in this case b is here only one person between a and b c is married to b now c is married to b means c and b are married couple C is married to B and C is sits thought to the right of B. Now C is seated thought to the right of B, C is here. C is seated thought to the right of B, C is married to B. And A sits second to the right of his father. Now A is seated second to the right of his father. Then who is the father? B is the father. As B is the father and C is the mother of whom? C is the mother of A. Then and C is the mother of A. Now B is the father male and C is the mother female hence mother now again in this one b is the father and whatever this c c is the mother of a then c sits thought to the right of b a sits second to the right of his father a is seated second to the right of his father e is married to f now e and f are married couple e is not a neighbor of f e is married to f e is not an immediate neighbor of f e is not a neighbor of f hence in this case, F cannot be here. E is not a neighbor of F, F is here. If F is here, then tell me who is the person left over? D is the person left over. Then, and E is not a neighbor of F, hence E can be the son or the uncle in the first case. F is not a son. As F is not son, F is the uncle. If F is uncle, then whatever this one? And D is the son. Then, F is not a son, but as in the second case, we got that F is the son of A. And this case is completely ruled out. Now we are left with only one. Then E and F are married to each other. As E and F are married to each other, F is uncle, F the male. Hence E is, whatever this E, E is the aunt of this person. Then this is what the information we have. <coughs> then question number 66. And which of the following statements is true regarding D? D is the grandson of B. Is D the grandson of B? D is the grandson of B. Yes, what can we say about this one? D is the grandson of B that is ruled out. Next one, D is the son of E. As D is the son of E, is it true? Now D is the son of E, that is also false. Then tell me what is your answer here? Then, first we need to write down, in order to answer these questions, first we need to draw the family tree. What is the family here? A is here. Now A is mother and father. A is mother is C. And married to E, that is the father. Now this A is the child of this C and E. And at the same time, now this person C and E are married and son. Who is the son of A? D is the son of A. And D is the son of A. Then E and F. And E and F for what? E and F for the? E and F. E is the uncle and F is the aunt. Hence E can be paternal uncle or, sorry, F can be paternal uncle or maternal uncle. That means maternal uncle of who? Maternal uncle of A. Hence, E and F again belongs to the first generation. If E and F belongs to the first generation, then D is the grandson of B. Yes, what is this one? B. Now, B is the father. Sorry, B is the father. B is the father. Then who is the other person here? B is the father. And C is the mother. B is the father and C is the mother. 
and D is the grandson of B. Definitely true or not? And point, choice one. Then question number 67. Now in the 67, which of the following represent the position of B from the left hand of the line? Position of B from the second left hand of the line, second. And second from the left hand side, that is given in choice five. Then question number 68, four out of the following means or may not, A and F. Now this A and F, and C and D, no C and D, between C and D there is only one person, and F and D, D and F there is only one person, A and B there is one person, and between B and F there is no person here, and A and F there are two persons, isn't it? Yes, tell me what is the answer here? Then, now in this A and F, what is the gender of this A? Any information regarding this gender here? A and his other family members. Other family members means A is a male. Isn't it? Because this word his is used, his is a male. Hence, then coming to this one, odd may not A and F. A is a male and whatever this F, F is a male, F is a male. Next one C and D. C is female and D is male. F and D, F and D both these two persons are males. A and B both these two persons are males. And B and F both these two persons are males. Except choice two except choice in the remaining choices. In the remaining choices, both the persons are males, but as in choice two, there is a male and a female. Then, then question number 69, which of the following pairs stand at the extreme ends of the line? Extreme ends of the line, E and F. And who are these E and F? Uncle and aunt. Yes, uncle and yes, aunt. Yes, uncle and yes, aunt. Yes, what is the answer here? Yes, uncle and yes, aunt. Yes, uncle and yes, mother. And D and yes, mother. F and yes on. F and yes on that is choice 3. Then question number 70. What is the position of C with respect to yes son? Yes son, who is yes son here? D. Position of C with respect to D is second to the right. Second to the right that is choice 1, 70. Then question number 71 to 75. Now in this question number 71 to 75, what is the information here? Now in total we have some 8 persons live on 8 different parts of a building but not necessarily in the same order. 8 persons living on 8 different floors of a building but not necessarily in the same order. Hence, whenever floor arrangement is given, now we need to fix the floor at the center 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, and 3, 2, and 1. Then, condition number 1. Please yes, tell me what is the information here, condition number 1. As yes. A, B, C, D, F, and G, and H, the lower floor is number one and so on, and each one of them belongs to a different city, namely Jaipur and so on. Then, coming to condition number one here, F lives, F lives on an even number floor, above the floor number five. F lives on an even number floor, above floor number five means what are the different possibilities we can have? Six or eight. And F can be on the eighth floor, or F can be on the sixth floor. Then, then, only four people live between F and the one who belongs to Mumbai. F and the one who belongs to Mumbai, how many people are there? There are exactly four people between F and the one who belongs to Mumbai. Now here also between F and the one who belongs to Mumbai, there are exactly four people. Only four people between F and the one who belongs to Mumbai, the next one. And B lives immediately above the one who belongs to Mumbai. Now B is immediately above the one who belongs to Mumbai, next one. And only three people live between B and the one who belongs to Agra. B and Agra, there must be exactly three people. Hence, in the first case, now the one who belongs to Agra is staying on the top floor. And there are how many people? Three people in between. B and the one who belongs to Agra, one, two, three. Now, in the second case, this F is Agra and floor number six. Next one, only one person lives between. Only one person lives between the one who belongs to Agra and A. Now between Agra and A, we must have exactly one person. And in the second case, A can be either here or here. There are two possibilities. In A does not live on the topmost floor. As A is not on the topmost floor, A cannot be at this place. Hence, A must be on the fourth floor itself. Then, the next one. The number of people living below A equals to the number of people above G. Above G equals to below A. Above G equals to below A means, now in this one, Below this A, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 persons were there. And this above this G, how many persons should be there? 5 persons. And so this G must be on the third floor. Are you following this one or not? Below this G, there are, below this A, there are 5 persons. Above this G, there must be 5 persons. 
and again similarly here again below this a how many persons are there three persons hence above this g we must have only three persons hence g must be on the fifth floor done and next one the one who belongs to shimla lives on an odd number floor below g odd number floor below g and shimla hence in the first case the one who belongs to shimla must be on the first floor and now in this one now in the second case the one who belongs to shimla must be on the third floor are you following this one or not next one and shimla lives on an odd number floor below g and only three people only three people live between the one who belongs to shimla and jaipur between shimla and jaipur how many people should be there there must be exactly three one two three this is jaipur and there must be exactly three people between shimla and jaipur one two three and this is the person from jaipur there are exactly three people between shimla and jaipur and the one who belongs to kolkata lives immediately below the one who belongs to delhi and kolkata is immediately below the one who belongs to delhi this is kolkata and this is delhi isn't it kolkata lives immediately below delhi and now this is kolkata lives immediately below this delhi next one and the one who belongs to kolkata lives immediately below the one who belongs to delhi and d lives immediately above the one who belongs to ranchi now d is immediately above the one who belongs to ranchi now sir now d cannot be at this place d cannot be here isn't it if d are in these two places this ranchi must be either 7 or 6 which is not possible hence d cannot be on the first floor hence what is the only possibility d on the third floor and the one who belongs to ranchi must be on the second floor and again in this one d cannot be at this place isn't it and d cannot be here the only possibility is d is here if d is here the one person the person from ranchi must be on the fourth floor and only one person lives between the one who belongs to ranchi and e between ranchi and e we must have exactly one person here now is ranchi is here and this e must be on the second floor and coming to the second possibility here ranchi at this place e must be on the fourth floor but as it is not possible because a was already there and this case is completely ruled out now we are left with only the first case then lives between only one person is between the one who belongs to ranchi and e h does not live below e h is not below e means h must be above this e h is above this e then tell me who is the person a b c is the person left out and what is the city left out here shimla mumbai ranchi jaipur s varanasi and the person who belongs to varanasi is on the second floor done with this then question number 71 and c lives on which are the following floor numbers c lives on floor number 1 floor number 1 that is choice 4 then next one question number 72 now in this 72 which are the following pairs represent those who live immediately above and immediately below g immediately above b immediately below g is e b and e b and e that is choice 4 then question number 73 which are the following cities does h belongs to h belongs to delhi delhi that is choice 3 then question number 74 four out of the following is nothing but an odd man out e floor number 5 e and floor number 5 now between e and floor number 5 there are two persons d and floor number 8 between d and floor number 8 there are two persons and h and floor number 4 between h and floor fourth floor there are two persons a and floor number 6 now a himself is on the floor number 6 that is choice 4 then question number 75 as per the given arrangement a is related to ranchi a is related to ranchi means a is two floors above ranchi and b is related to varanasi b is two floors above this ranch and varanasi and to which of the following f is related f is two floors above whom the person belongs to kolkata kolkata that is choice one now this is about question number 71 to 75 then coming to question number 76 to 80 now in this one it is based on comparisons six vessels were there and what are those six a b c d and f 1 2 3 and 4 5 and 6 there are six vessels in this then a b c d each holding different quantities of water each holding different quantities of water then now in this condition number 1 tell me what is information given and c holds are kept on a table c holds more water than f but less than both a and e c is more than f but less than both a and e c is more than f but less than both a and e isn't it and b holds less water than f now b is less than f isn't it a e c f and b and e does not hold the maximum e cannot be at the top e does not hold the maximum isn't it and d holds more water than b but less than c 
now d is more than what d holds more than b d is more than b but lesser than more but lesser than c now d is more than b but lesser than and so d will be somewhere here isn't it and so drf drf can be in any order then f holds f holds 7 liters of water f holds 7 liters of water and this where should this be now b is at this place e cannot be at this place as e cannot be here and in the remaining two places drf drf in any order isn't it drf then after this one e e below this e c, c must be there and this is e and this is c and what is the order here a must be at the top as what is the order here a e c drf drf and b then d holds more water than b but lesser than c f holds 7 liters of water now this f is 7 f holds 7 liters of water the vessel holding the second highest quantity of water holds 11 now e is 11 f is 7 then if a holds 3 liters more than e a is 3 liters more than e e is 11 a will be 14 a will be 14 that is choice 1 then question number 77 with respect to the quantities of water held by the vessels e plus b equals to 14 e plus b means b equals to 3 because e equals to 11 b is 3 then b plus f b plus f is so much f is 7 b is 3 7 plus 3 10 that is choice 2 then question number 78 now in this question number 78 which holds the third highest number of quantity third highest is c that is choice 5 then question number 79 if d holds 4 liters of water as d is 4 liters of water then where should this d d will be here and f will be here isn't it because d is 4 liters of water lesser than f because f is 7 liters of water then if d holds 4 liters of water then which of the following is true about this d d holds the second lowest quantity of water definitely true or not definitely true that is choice one the next one question number 80 now in this question number 80 which of the following is possibly the quantity of water held by this c now this c is more than 7 but lesser than 11 more than 7 lesser than 11 that must be 8 that is choice 3 clear enough now this is about question number 76 to 80 then 81 onwards now in this question number 81 to 85 these five are based on data sufficiency we can discuss this one afterwards then now we are left with what 86 to 90 and 91 to 95 now in this 86 to 90 91 to 95 if you are there here now in this 86 to 90 there are 12 people seated in two different rows isn't it now 12 people two different rows and this one coding and decoding between these two which is easier here coding and decoding you can always okay bank upon this one now let us start with this puzzle 3 4 5 6 and again another six persons are there 4 5 and 6 then 12 people are seated in two parallel rows containing six people each in such a way that there is equal distance between adjacent persons row 1 pq or st and u and all of them are facing towards south now this is row 1 now in this row 1 pq or st and u are the six persons in this row 1 and in row 2 a b c d and f and all of them are facing towards north now this a b c d and f are facing towards north and therefore in the given seating arrangement and each member seated in a row faces another member of the other row and none of the information given is not necessarily in the same order then condition number one r sits out to the right of t and t does not sit at any one of the extreme ends of the row as t is not at the any extreme ends of the row t is here one two three r is here that is one possibility and what is the second possibility we have one two three four five six it also one two three four five six now t is here r will be here r sits out to the right of t done with this r sits out to the right of t t does not sit at any one of the extremes of the line and so we have only two possibilities here then next one and the one facing t sits second to the right of t the one who is facing t this person is seated second to the right of a hence a is here the one who is facing t sits second to the right of a a is here and only two people between a and f only two people between a and f f at this place only two people between a and f f is here and next one d sits second to the left of e as d is seated second to the left of e now in this one what is the possibility here d sits second to the left of e and similarly here d sits second to the left of e we have two possibilities dre can be in these two places or dre can be in these two places 
two possibilities. And E does not sit at any one of the extreme ends of the line, E cannot be here. And so where should this E? And so D at this place. And D sits a second to the left of E. This is the only possibility left off. Then B faces U. Now B is facing U. B is facing U. B cannot be at this place because if this person B is here facing T rather than U. And so B at this place and facing U, U will be here. B is facing U. Next one in this one, B cannot be at this place and so B at this place, B is facing U. And only one person sits between U and S. One person between U and S, S is here. Now in this case, S and T must be in the same place, which is not possible. The second is completely ruled out. Then, only one person between U and S. Q is not an immediate neighbor of S. As Q is not an immediate neighbor of S, Q must be at the right extreme end. Then who is the person left over here? P is the person left over. And here in this one, C is the person left over. Done? Then question number 86, who among the following is facing P? E is facing P, that is choice 5. Then question number 87, who among the following is facing C? T is facing C, that is choice 2. Then question number 88, and what is the position of Q with respect to S? Q with respect to S, Q is thought to the left, thought to the left, that is choice 1. Then question number 89, which of the following statements is true regarding B? C is one of the immediate neighbors of B, that is false. A sits thought to the left of B, that is false. And no one sits to the right of B, that is again false. And B faces one of the immediate neighbors of R, definitely true choice 4. Then question number 90, which of the following pairs of people represent the person sitting at the extreme ends? Extreme ends tell me P and D, P and D are not at then F and D, F and D not at the extreme end, U and F. U and F definitely true choice 2. Now this is about question number 90. Then 91 to 95, these five are based on what? Coding and decoding. Now in this one, coding and decoding, method to resolve it, resolve it soon. Resolve it, as tell me what are the words which are common, resolve it, resolve it. And here resolve. Now if you compare the first, second and third, in all the three statements, and what is the word which is common here, resolve. And the code which is common is SJ, SJ is common. And the code to the word result is, resolve is SJ. Then, then if you compare 1 and 2. Now in 1 and 2, it is the only one word which is common between these two. As it is common and the code which is common between these two is action. And the code to the word, it is action. Action and action. Then compare the first and the fourth. Method 2. Method and 2. Now 1 and 3, if you compare here, 2 is the word which is common here. And the code which is common between these two is M-U-B-K. M-U is common. M-U-B-K. Then in the first statement, and method is the word left over, and the code which is left over is BK. Method is BK. Method and it is BK. Then compare the second and the third. Soon and now are the two words left over here. Happy and today. Happy today, now happy and content. Now, now is the word which is common between the second and the fourth statements. And now. And what is the code? OT and KR. KR is common. Hence the code to the word now is KR. Now is KR. Here also now is KR. Then in the second statement, soon is the only word left over. And the code left is OT. And the code to the word soon is OT. Soon is OT. Then a happy and a today are the words left over CZVL. Now happy is the word which is common between these two. As happy is common, tell me what is the code common between these two? CZ and VL, VL is common. And the code to the word, happy is VL. If happy is VL, now finally, in the third statement, today is the only word left over. And the code which is left is CZ. And the code to the word, today is CZ. Then finally, end and content. Now finally, two words are left over. And two codes are left over. And the codes to these two words cannot be identified. Isn't it? And so YB, ES. YB and ES in any other. Then what does the code MU stands for? MU stands for what? MU stands for 2. 2 that is choice 1. Then question number 92. What may be the code for practice? It is today. Practice it to today. It is XN. And today is what? Today is CZ. XN and CZ and now this one it. It is XN and CZ. Now we need to identify the code to the word practice. X and CZ is there in choice one. Choice two is not there. And there in choice three. 
choice 4 also x and cz is there but a choice 5 is ruled out. Hence your answer could be either 1, 3 or 4. Or that which tell me OT cannot be the code to the word practice because OT is the code to the word soon. And similarly xn cannot be the code for practice because xn is the code for xn cz no es. Now tell me whether es can be the code or not es cannot be the code because it can be the code for end or content and this also cannot be your answer finally you are left with only choice 4. Done with this 92 choice 4 then question number 93 what is the code for resolve as yes, tell me what is the code to this word resolve here sj choice 2 then next one question number 94 what is the code for happy now happy the code to the word happy is vl kr kr vl that is choice 2 94 then question number 95 what is the code for content the code to the word content is yb or es in any other choice for now this is about question numbers 91 to 95 then 96 to 100 now in this 96 to 100 it is based on input and output statement followed by some five steps were there in the input of here if you are there here there are some 10 elements and only five steps were there which implies that in each step exactly two two elements are arranged then as two elements are arranged here stem first we need to identify the logic in order to identify the logic we need to compare the step input with the final step what is the final step here step five then in this step five stem pain life cry and bake now all these words are arranged in the descending order and coming to these numbers 96 73 28 14 11 again the numbers are in the descending order words in the descending order followed by numbers in the descending order all the first words next numbers then we need to compare the method involved in this one in order to identify the method involved in this now we need to compare input with the step one now bake is coming to the first place where is bake here somewhere at the sixth place now it is coming to the first place and according and again 96 arranged at the last place the least word bake arranged at the first place highest number 96 arranged at the last place from there onwards in step 2 bake shifted to the second place and in step 3 third place step 4 fourth place finally step 5 fifth place now this 96 shifted to the ninth place in step 2 eighth place seventh place and finally sixth place isn't it then afterwards the next word to bake is cry arranged at the first place and the previous number to 96 73 arranged at the last place then these two will be shifted to the next position and again next word to cry is life third word arranged at the first place in step 3 and the next highest number to 73 is 28 arranged at the last place then after this after this life next one is pain next one is jump this is how these words and the numbers were arranged and then all the five questions are based on a single input hence we have to work out all the five steps and this is about question numbers 96 to 100 then then we have left some five questions in this one question numbers 81 to 85 now these five are based on now question number 81 six people m and o p q r and standing in a strike line facing towards north now they are in a strike line facing north one two three four five and six then q stands third from the left end of the line q is standing third from the left end of the line now the question is about who stands second to the right of p now we need to identify the person who is in a second to the right hand side of p then now in condition number one q stands third from the left end of the line only one person is standing between q and m now in between q and m how many persons are there there is exactly one person and this is one case and what is the second case here four five and six now q is here m can be here there are two possibilities in condition number one alone then m stands to the immediate right of r as m is to the immediate right hand side of r here this case is not possible at all isn't it because m is to the right hand side of r is not possible because m himself is at the first place and only three people live between m and p as only three people between m and p one two three p is here only three people between m and p now the question is about who stands second to the right of p as tell me are we getting the answer or not isn't it and so what is the answer we are getting here q is the person seated second to the right hand side of p then serpentine is the one alone now q stands third from the left end of the line q stands third from the left end of the line and only one person between q and m one person between q and m. 
Q and R are so information is there is only one post in between Q and R Q and R as only one person between Q and R let us work out this one once again 1 2 3 4 5 6 now Q stands out from the left end of the line 1 2 3 Q is here and there is only one person standing between Q and R R can be here 1 2 3 4 5 6 Q is at the third place one person between Q and R and M stands to the immediate right of R M is to the immediate right of R M is here it also M is to the immediate right of R and only three people between M and P 1 2 3 P is here 1 2 3 P is here then are we getting a unique answer here second to the right of P now here in this case second to the right of P is not there now in this case P Q R M were there now two more persons N R O either N R O can be to the second to the right hand side of this P N R O and they get the answer hence one alone is not sufficient because we are having two different possibilities then coming to condition number two one two three four five six then R stands second from the right end of the line R is second from the right end of the line M is an immediate neighbor of R M is an immediate neighbor of R can be left hand side or can be right hand side R is here can be right hand side then Q stands third to the left of M 1 2 3 Q is here and third to the left of M 1 2 3 Q is here Q stands third to the left of M P stands to the immediate left of Q now P is to the immediate left of Q this case is not possible and again in this one also if you are there here then who are the persons either N or O is a person then if you combine these two if you combine these two P Q R and M here also P Q R and M by combining these two also no information about this and the data in both the statement is also not sufficient isn't it both are one and the same hence no information regarding this N or O hence the statement the data in both the statement is also not sufficient so I find then question number 82 now in this question number 82 point A is in which direction with respect to Q now we need to find out the direction of A with respect to Q a person starts walking from point A walks 7 meters south a person who has started from A walks how many meters 7 meters south and then takes a left turn and walks 5 meters left hand side 5 meters he then takes a left turn and walks for 5 meters left hand side 5 meters and before stopping at point D now this is point D and D is 2 meters away from Q as D is 2 meters away from Q now tell me what about this Q Q can be like this or Q can be here or Q can be here we can have n number of possibilities the direction of Q with respect to D is not clearly given hence one alone is not sufficient then coming to condition number 2 Now condition number two, a person starts walking from point and walks 9 meters towards west. 9 meters towards west is there starting from point A from here he travels 9 meters towards west and he then takes a right turn and walks 5 meters right hand side 5 meters. He then takes a final right turn and point and stops at point S after walking 14 meters. Now this is 14 meters this point is S 14 meters and point S is 5 meters to the north of Q S is 5 meters to the north of Q means Q is here S is 5 meters to the north of Q isn't it S is 5 meters to the north of Q tell me point A is in which direction with respect to Q now A is towards which direction are you getting an answer or not because this vertical distance 5 and 5 is 1 and the same now this A is towards west of Q A is towards west of Q hence 2 alone is sufficient as 2 alone is sufficient choice 3 is the answer done with this now question number 82 choice 3 then 83 now in this question number 83 on which day was Sudha's result was declared now Sudha correctly remember that her results were declared after 24th but before 30th after 24th before 28th it could be in between 25 and 29 including 25 and 29 any one of this 25 26 27 28 29 and five different dates were there Sudha's mother correctly remember that Sudha's result was declared on a Monday. Now among these five dates which is Monday that is not clearly known hence one alone is not sufficient. Then coming to the second Sudha's father correctly remember that Sudha's result was declared after 25, after 25th June, after 25th June to what? 
do anything. Maybe in the June or not, there is also not clearly known, isn't it? Maybe in June or in July, that information is not, June, not given, hence 26 onwards. And so those friends correctly remember that the last day of the June of the same year was a Thursday. Last day of the June was Thursday. Now 30th is Thursday, that is what it is given. As 30th is Thursday, then also we cannot able to determine the answer. Then by combining this, if you combine these two, 30th is Thursday, if 30th is Thursday, then whatever this one, in between 26 and 30th. And 30th is Thursday, 29th will be what? Wednesday. And 28th is what? Tuesday. And 27th is Monday. As what is information here? Sudha's father correctly remembers that Sudha's was and on Monday. Mother correctly remembers his Monday. Now in this one, Monday is on which day? 27th. Are you getting the answer or not? What is the date we got? 27th. And the data in both the statements is required to get the answer choice so for 83. Then question number 84. Six people U, V, W, X, Y, Z are seated around a circular table facing the center but not necessarily in the same order. And who sits out to the right of X? Now we need to identify who is seated out to the right of X. Now these six persons are seated around a circular table. Six persons seated around a circular table U, V, W, X, Y, Z and facing the center with equal distance but not necessarily in the same order. Who sits out to the right of X? U sits to the immediate left of Y. And u is to the minute left of y, if you take y is here, u is to the minute left of y, isn't it? Then only one person between u and x, one person between u and x, x can be here, that is one possibility. And in the second possibility, 3, 4, 5, 6, y is here, u is here, and x can be here, this is the second possibility, isn't it? And so we have two possibilities in this. Then next one, only one person between u and x, w is an immediate neighbor of y. As W is an immediate neighbor of Y in the first, in the second case it is not possible and so we are having only one case. W is an immediate neighbor of Y. Then what is the question here? Who sits it out to the right of X? As tell me who is seated out to the right of X? So you answer sooner or later. Now this W is seated out to the right of X. Huh? Only U sits to the immediate left of Y. Only one person between U and X. One person between U and X. As one person between u and x, hmm. then u sits to the minute left of y, one person between u and x, one person between u and x, hence x must be here, isn't it? x is here. And w is an immediate neighbor of y, w is an immediate neighbor of y, here also w is an immediate neighbor of y. Done? Here in this case w is not in immediate neighbor of y is not possible. Now the question is who sits out to the right of x? Are you getting the answer or not? One alone is sufficient. And again, in the data sufficiency, we are not bothered about what the answer is. Whether it is W or Y or someone else, not required. Are we getting the answer or not? Then, one alone is sufficient as of now. Then, coming to the second one, only one person between Y and Z. Only one person between Y and Z. If Y is here, Z will be here. That is one case. And in the second possibility, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, Y is here, Z is here, second case. Only one person between Y and Z. U is an immediate neighbor of Z. As u is an immediate neighbor of z, how many possibilities? u can be either here or here. It also u can be here or here. There are two possibilities. And x is to the immediate right of v. x is to the immediate right of v. And x can be here, immediate right of v. Isn't it? x is an immediate right of v. Isn't it? This is one possible. And what is the second possibility? If u is here, then x and v can be here also. And so there are two possibilities to this x. Here also, x can be either at this place or x can be at this place. As there are two, two possibilities in this one, two alone is not sufficient, only one alone is sufficient. And only one alone that is given in choice one. 84 choice one. Then coming to question number 85. Now five packets each are having a different color. Different color. A, B, C, D and E are kept one above the other but not necessarily in the same order. What is the color of packet C? Now we need to identify the color of packet C. And in order to identify this one, tell me, how many are there? There are only five packets. One, two, three, four, five. Then, condition number one. As tell me what is given in this condition number one. Yellow packet is kept immediately above C. And yellow is immediately above C. And next one. And there are only two packets between C and B. As there are only two packets between C and B, if C is here, yellow will be here. And there are only two packets between C and B. B can be here, that is one possible. Are you following this one or not? 
and what is the second possibility we can have? Now, if yellow is here, that is one possible. Now, within this information, only if C is here, is it possible to have C? No, because in between C and B, we should have two, which is not possible. C cannot be here. Or what is the other possibility? If C is here and yellow will be here. If yellow is here, then B will be here. One more possibility. Then what is the third case here? If C is here, then yellow will be here. If yellow is here, B will be here. How many possibilities we have? We have some three different possibilities. And so what is the color of packet C? As of now, we can, and there are only two packets between C and B. There are only three packets between B and A. Now between B and A, there are only three packets. It also between B and A, three packets. This case is not possible. And the pink packet is kept immediately below A. Pink is kept immediately below A, this is also not possible because A is at the bottom. And pink is below A, hence are we getting the answer or not? And the color of this packet C is pink in color, one alone is sufficient. Then as one alone is sufficient, now we need to check out condition number two. Now in condition number two, the blue packet is kept third from the top. Now this is blue, which is kept third from the top. And only one packet is kept between A and the blue packet. A and blue packet, there must be exactly one. And see here, this, this is one possibility. Then what is the next possibility we can have? A can be below this one, isn't it? Hence, we have only two possibilities in this. Now, if blue is here, then there is only one packet between A and blue. The blue packet is kept third from the top, and only one packet is kept between A and blue, and three packets are kept between A and B, three in between A and B, here also three in between A and B, and C is kept immediately below yellow packet. And C is kept immediately yellow packet, but whereas C is kept immediately below yellow. Now, if this is yellow, this will be C. Or if this is, isn't it? Or if this is yellow, and this will be C. Are we getting two different answers or not? Hence, two alone is not sufficient, only one alone. Only one alone, choice five. Done? Now, this is about paper number 380. Yes, anything left over? Number series. Quantal apply then the number series? Not discuss. Then, then question numbers please, number series? 61 to 65. Now question number 61 to 65 in this number series. Then 1.55 in each of the following questions a number series is given. After the series, a number is given followed by A, B, C, D and E. And you have to complete the series starting from the name with the number given following the sequence of the given series and answer the questions given below. That means, now the second series is also given, now we need to identify first the pattern in the first one, the same pattern should be applied in the second one by taking the first number. Then 1.55, 215 and 422, tell me how can I express this one, 215 and 422. Now 215 into 2 is so much, 430 minus 8, 422 into 2 minus 8. Next one 74 and 215. 74 into how much? Into 3. And 222 minus how much? Minus 7. Now into 2 into 3. Next one this must be into 4. 20 into 4. 80 minus 6. And next one this must be into 2, 3, 4, 5. 5 into 5. 8, 7, 6, 5. 5 into 5 minus 5. 20. And finally this must be into 6. 1.5 into 6 is 9. 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, and 9 minus 4 is 5. Into 6, into 5, into 4, into 3, into 2, and 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 are subtracted. Now starting with 6, now we need to find out. First one 6, what is the first logic here? Into 6 minus 4. And 6 into 6, 36 minus 4, it is 32, that is A. Then 30, next one, next one is into 5 minus 5. Now 32 into 5 is so much? 160 minus 5, 155. Now that is the value of B. Now the question is about B, 155 choice 2. Then, and this is about question number 61. Then, 62. Now question number 62, 12 and 18. Yes, how to express this one? Yes, 12 and 18. Now 12, 18, 18, 42 into 2, into 2 minus, into 2. Now so let us go for the difference here. 
12 plus 6 is 18. 18 and 42, tell me what is the difference between these two, 18 and 42? Seven difference in the 20, 24, 18, and next one 42 and 102 difference is 60. Now 6, 24, 60. And what is the next difference here? And here the difference is 120. And the next one? 210. 6, 24, 60, 120, 210. As yes, what are these numbers? 6, 24, 60. Here there is no necessity for us to identify the logic. Pattern also is one. In this Japanese, it is not about the next number. The same logic should be applied. This number is same as the same number. In this Japanese, same numbers are added. Now, in general, 6, 24, 60, 120 can be written as n cube minus n. 2 cube minus 2 is 6. 3 cube minus 3 is 24. 4 cube minus 4 is 6. 2 cube minus 2 is 120. 6 cube minus 6 is 210. Last year, the end of the year, but in the same logic. Next one, are they next number? 7 cube minus 7. How much is that? 336. And plus 432, I will just But here, the question is not about the next one. Isn't it? Here, the logic is immaterial. Then 41. Yes, what will come in place of C? How much happened? What will come in place of C? Yes. What will come in place of C? Chapali. What will come in place of E? What will come in place of E? What will come in place of C? What will come in place of E? E plus the end of Ali. I mean, the same just for calculation. In number series, just name different calculation, just name. But we are in the color panel of our Yes. Yes. What is the necessity of asking this question to you? In the category of Japan, in the month, all are explained. Yes. Same type of question in target means. Target means the first 15 questions same logic with explained. Yes. And one donor. We don't know. And one target means. One image evening Japan. Get up. There. Photo the East, then now in this one 624 what are the numbers here 624 60 and so on are the numbers now 12 18 chapman numbers in 12 18 42 102 and 222 and 432 and now these are the numbers and they get monkey can numbers add jewels in japan yes tell me what are the numbers you are adding now six no, 6 plus 6. Next one, 24, 60, 120, 210. And together, then what is the first number you have to take? 41. You put M and you get Japan D, C and get. Now this is A, this is B, this is C and together, C. And then C and again, Tarad Mali E and again, 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 No, sir, if the difference, Manaki, and those in number 41 plus 6 and the 47 and 47 plus 24 71 on again 47 plus 70 24 71 next one 71 plus 60 131 next one 131 plus 120 251 and 251 plus 210 251 plus 210 and the japan 4 461 and check out the on a video can the concept and what to know then afterwards as easy trick for to work out this entire procedure in other sales now from the now what is c aggregate on now c aggregate gap now the logic is based on a difference difference made together first number a do not look on a six year jail get second number a do not look on a 24 year jail get is it irrespective of the number given we have to add 6 24 60 120 210 in the same order now the question is about what c aggregate C aggregate gap to control number first numbers must be difference and the 12 and 14. Yes, tell me what is the difference between these two 12 and 14? 12 ki 41 ki difference and the 29. Ekka difference 29 on the gati rendit to measure difference and the children look sir 29. E rendit to measure 29. E rendit to measure a number and then can the 29 adjust me can answer. Ekka manaki 432. 432 plus 29 and the 461. And the kimi malaria e and tennis. Ekka C aggregate. 102, 102 plus 29 and the 131. Is it required to work out all the numbers? 
whenever it is given any difference you can work out like this directly as coach because uniform speed on a uniform speed concept cheptaru kada meeku na 1 hour mundu oka ayina start ayipo 10 km per hour the velipothunnaru meer 6 o'clock start ayyadu ayina mo 5 o'clock start ayyadu meer start ayi time ki ayina entha dooram untadu 10 km akkadu nunchi meeru 10 km so vaadu 10 km same speed tho velthunnaru 7 o'clock ki entha theda untadu iddaru majilo 10 ne untadu 8 o'clock ki 10 meer enni samasalu parigettina difference 10 ne untadu because it is uniform ikkada kuda mana uniform numbers add chestunnam mundu as the numbers you are adding are uniform direct number meeku 5 e adithe deeniki add chey d adithe deeniki add chestam deeniki adithe c adigade gaatu 102 plus 29 it will be 131 done and this is the reason why i asked you to find out c e and so on prathi di try chestunnaru meeru and 62 then 63 and this applies only for difference but not for but not for what multiplication or combination the next one 8 9 26 105 484 105 484 number suddenly increased hence it must be 105 into how much 4 plus 64 into 4 plus 64 can be written as into 4 plus 4 cube and together next one 26 into 3 is so much 78 78 plus so much 27 now here 9 into 2 18 18 plus so how much 18 plus 8 26 now 18 to 1 plus 1 into 1 plus 1 cube into 2 plus 2 cube into 3 plus 3 cube into 4 plus 4 cube now the number starting with 5 now 5 into 1 plus 1 how much 6 now 6 into 2 plus 8 12 plus 8 20 now 20 into the question is about e now 20 into 3 60 plus 27 how much is that 87 now 87 into 4 a b c d now this is a b c and d 87 into 4 japanese 8 into 4 327 into 4 28 320 plus 28 348 348 plus 64 and those in the 348 plus 64 4 not to a 4 not to any 348 plus 64 4 and 6 8 plus 4 3 1 2 1 4 1 2 done and 4 1 2 into 5 plus 125 into 5 and yellow just them into 5 means divided by 2 20 and 6 2 0 6 0 plus 125 will be how much 2185 now 2185 is there any number 2185 choice 3 is the answer the multiplication all this you are supposed to work out like this way only follow the narrow into 1 plus 1 cube into 2 plus 2 cube into 3 plus 3 cube into 4 plus 4 cube into 5 plus 5 cube then question number 64 now in this question number 64 9 10 3 12 1 and so on then Yes, tell me how to express this one 9 10 3 and 9 10 3 and next one no difference plus 1 minus 7 plus 9 minus 11 yes, is there any specific pattern followed in this one no then 9 and 10 how can you express this 9 and 10 in case 9 into 1 plus 1 9 into 1 plus 1 then next one 10 and 5 how can you express this one 10 into 1 by 2 1 by 2 jab kocha 10 into 0.5 that is 1 by 2 minus 2 that is 5 now i am rewriting this one once again now 9 9 into 1 plus how much 9 into 1 plus 9 1 that is 10 next 10 into 1 by 2 that is 5 5 minus 2 is how much 3 and next as it is 3 now next one is what next one 3 and 12 now in this 3 and 12 3 into 3 9 plus 3 12 how's coach 12 we can observe the logic afterwards into 1 into 1 by 2 into 3 next time all into 1 by 4 into 1 by 4 now as this is into 1 by 4 that is 3 and so how much plus 1 minus 2 plus 3 minus 4 and so what is the number we have minus 1 said when minus 1 into 1 into 1 by 2 into 3 into 1 by 4 into 5 now minus 1 into 5 plus 5 hence it has become 0 then into 1 into 1 by 2 into 3 into 1 by 4 into 5 into 1 by 6 into 7 into 1 by 8 and so on and plus 1 minus 2 plus 3 minus 4 plus 5 then starting with what 25 now starting with this 25 applying the same logic now 25 into 1 plus 1 
Now the question is about C and that is 26. Now 26 into 1 by 2, 13. 13 minus 2, 11. 11 into 3, 33 plus 3, that is 36. Now 36 that is given in choice 1. 64 it is choice 136. Done? Then 65. As tell me what is the answer here? 65, 64, 24, 18, 27, 81. Yeah, so how to express this one? 64, 24, 18, 27, 81. So, when everything is a person, 18 and 27 in, can be written as 27 into 3 is 81. 18 and 27 into 1.5. Into 1.5. And into 27 into 3. 1.53. It is double. Double out on the other. Then, now 64 and 24. Now 64. How will you get 24 with the help of 64 into 3 by 8? 64 by 8 is 8. 8 into 3 is 24. Next one 24 and 18. How will you get 24 and 18? 24 into 3 by 4. Last question is 4. That means 4 how many times? 4 6 6 into 3 18 into 3 by 8, into 3 by 4, next one I am all into 3 by 2. Into 3 by 2 is so much? 1.5, that is 27. And next one, into 3, into 3 by? So, next one, 8, 4, 2, into 3 by 1. Into 3 by 1, 27 into 3 by 1 is so much? 81. Now, numerator is same, into 3, into 3, into 3, into 3. And denominator, 8, 4, 2 and 1. Then coming to this one, 96. 96 into 3 by 8. Yes, how many times? 12. 12 into 3, 36. That is 8. And next one into 3 by 4. And 4 nines. And 9 into 3, 27. As yes, what is the number here? 27 choice. Clear? Now this is about paper number 380. Question numbers 61 to 100. Yes, any doubts in this?